So, hello, and welcome back to whatever degree of insanity this is. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, it's been a special week at the university, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I can think of no better time to uh, sit down and play some Shining Force 2. Um, well, yeah, basically, I if I start talking about it, I would end up having to sort of <laughs> complain about various people. At well, okay, one only, but <laughs> no, I kind of don't want to do that, so. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> A bunch of people lined up right there. If the witch unleashes ice slow too, it's gonna hurt. Yeah. University. It's a thing that happens to other people. And unfortunately, I happen to be universally happened upon as well. Uh, okay, so it's a dark matter, not a witch. Whatever. Yes, you are 19. Um, that's awesome sauce. Just want to check something. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 wait. Okay, right. The power ring. Great. I will have to remember not to use it anymore before I get prepared. But you can be promoted when I use the brave apple. So that is going to be pretty awesome, actually. I've been waiting to do that for a while. Okay, of course you have to do that, you nasty little harpy. And you are level 20. You you didn't get any stat keys? What, 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 what? What the hell? Well, he's level 20, so there's that. Shit, dude. That, that, that was. <sighs> I would have thought it would. I. I... I kind of thought it would be a lot more epic than that, but... Oh well. Go to Joe. Thank you, Camelot, for making a fool of myself. And uh, who wants to bet that Slate is going to be murdered in every orifice? Well, now that he put himself forward like that. And you can't heal. Go for broke. Ah, <laughs> fire damage. Jesus. Wow. Luke. Um, I don't know what to say. Nice knowing you. Yeah? Ooh, it turned dark all of a sudden. That was a bit of a nasty weather. Well, slightly nasty. Too bad, just very autumn-like. Oh, that, ladies and gentlemen, was Dispel level 2. Huh, Slade is mysteriously alive. That's, um, that's a hell of a thing. Right, let's do some, something about it. Uh, okay, never mind. Peter to the rescue. He's badass like that. And heal level 3. 
why not? Okay, place the princess and people. I guess. Um, hmm. Not looking good for Mr. Slave there. Let's put him over here instead. Actually, no. Maybe we can save that thing for darker ages. Oh, oh yeah, right. Um, Sarah's silenced either way. Kind of forgot about that. I just went for a lower land effect. I don't know if that matters at all for me, but hey. <laughs> yeah, the AI in this game is very interesting. On lower difficulty. I suppose it is pretty interesting at higher difficulties as well, but... Um, I still insist that I don't have the chops for it. Okay, let's see if we get the protector again. Um, ah, we did. Neat. trouble. Um, and you, unless I'm mistaken, have been dispelled, so you can't really do any of that. Hmm. 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 I actually could. But something tells me it would be more intelligent <laughs> to do this. Mm. Well, <coughs> that gave him more experience points at least. Uh, 45. So it's going to be a while until she can moat. <laughs> yeah. I shouldn't have done that. I know. Ooh. <laughs> and you leveled up for that. Wow. Well, I'm not gonna argue. I'm, I'm pretty fine with that. results. <laughs> results. Yeah. Right. Yo, Peter. Whoa. Peter does only 10 damage to this thing. I, uh, I'm gonna have to look at the stats here. Yeah. 40 defense. That is quite a lot. But you should have 57 attack. Meaning 
17 damage, and you only did 10. Well, color me disgruntled. Now do two damage, mister. Nope, no two damage. Now he's gonna point me with two experience points. Yay. Ooh, so for some experience points. That'll be good. Yeah. So 58-ish. Hi. Cousin to the rescue. Hurry, let's go into Creed's mansion. Oddler, can you see? No, what? We're moving around as if you can see. Am I? Maybe my other senses have sharpened since I lost my sight. Oh, I see. Alright, let's go see Mr. Creed. Um, That's not the whole truth. Protect ring. Um, who do we give it to? Search our frontline booster, so her low defense core. Not a big concern, really. Chester, maybe. Slate actually has higher defense than Chester, that's not quite right. Luke has really low defense for a melee character. And that's the same defense Chester has. Yeah, okay, Chester gets it. And equip before I forget. Just for the fun of it, swap chest around. No, wait. No, no. Uh, let, let's let Rick catch up in levels before we start doing all that into business. Okay, here we go. Chester. Uh, <laughs> Creed's mansion. And I think this. Ah, yeah, there we go. It was even a chest. That's, um. That makes it easy. Earring ring. That is some good stuff right there. If I didn't explain it in a previous game, or if you didn't watch my playthrough of Shining Force 1, that is a party heal. Um, oh, hey. You look purple. You may go now. I need to talk to Fairy. Yes, sir. That was not grammatically correct, but I do not give a damn. Dum -dum -dum. Oh, time to check the collections. Oh, you do baseball cards? Servant Goliath unlocks the door. Because we love stage cues. Excuse me? Meow! Yes? We've come to see Mr. Creed. A master? Do you have an appointment? Uh, what now? Uh, nope. <laughs> no, not yet, but... I'm sorry, but he's busy now. Please come back later. Yeah, he has to talk to the fairy. Right, guys? Uh, oh, we can't see Mr. Creed now. No kidding. Our friend Peter, let's force our way into the room. Alder, you're getting bold. But it is a good idea. <laughs> Let's go. Yoink. How do you do that? Because JRPG. You dimple like kids, you can't go in. Mr. Creed is too busy. Go away. 
am... Well... Out of it, on our left. That door might lead to Mr. Creed. Let's stitch this guy and go through that door. Ooh. Out of it, let's do it. I don't want to fail now. Okay, okay, we give up. We'll see Mr. Creed later. Let's get out of here. Yeah, maybe later. Uh... Ah, no. Nah. Just kidding. No, don't go in there. That door is... Magic! What stupid kids. Whoever passes through this magic door becomes small. That is, anybody who's not protected by Mr. Creed. Goliath picks up player name. Now you're part of the collection. So, yeah. This place here is a collection of um, miniaturized people who sort of stumbled into Creed's mansion and uh, got miniaturized. What happened? A strange feeling swept over me when I entered that door. Then it felt like I was lifted upward. It's very difficult to explain what's happened to us. Anyway, we're very small now. Small? How small? Let's see, now we're on a desk and it's very large, like a village. Exactly. Goliath! Hey, what did you do to us? I told you not to go in there. You didn't listen to my warning. You guys look so cute. Haha, <laughs> bye little kitties. Uh, because things need to make sense, right? Player, cheer up. Let's look around this desktop kingdom. With the capital letters. I agree, we can meet Creed later. Uh, well, you know, we're sort of racing against time, trying to not be, like, murdered by, well, ceremonially murdered by the greater devil. See, so, oh, hey, you have a strange, um, character spike. Are you from the outside? Why do, well, why did you come here? Ah, a mistake, I see. I suggest you see King Pompey. He's a good man. How kind of you. Um, uh, Okay, so here's a priest I want to promote someone so I can show you how snazzy Mr. Raita gets when uh, you promote him. Okay, so uh, burn this into your retinas. 11 hit points, 42 attack and defense, and 23 agility. Yes, he wants to be promoted to the A fighting class, right? Raita can be promoted to master, okay? Yes. Now let me conduct the rite. The light blesses Tortoise Raita with a class of monster. And a funny little jingle. Raita was successfully promoted to monster. Who do you want to promote? And look at that character portrait. Oh, what? He still has 11 HP? Ah, oh, well, look at that. He uh, got seven movement all of a sudden. <laughs> I didn't know that happened. Um, okay, so we're still gonna have to babysit the guy. Um, now, there is something I want to test, actually. Uh, just hold your horses here. really should save state before this. Oh, okay. Um, right, okay, I, I just had to check that. Uh, basically, the promotion items I have, I have currently stashed in the caravan. To use them on, a, on the promotion screen here, I will have to take them out of the caravan and give them to an active party member. Well, not active, but well, one of the party members. And then we will have an extra dialogue option as we, as we promote. Um, let's just hold that thought right there for now. Yes, you are very wrong. Um, just to double check. 
Nobody's dead, that's good. I wanna cure poison if anyone is messed up. No one is, great. Uh, no, 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 I wanted to save the game. That's, um, this way. <laughs> there. Sorry. The chess army is very strong. It will be good training for you. Okay. Strange that he would say that. Okay, another dude with a character portrait. I was there during the disaster. I was looking for the legendary sword. I hid it here. Oh, would that be the Chaos Breaker from the first game? Neat. Ah, we can move on to the book page. Uh, under the page of the book something something words was there a shop here this kingdom was made by Crete there's no concept of time here we never get old we never die what is the meaning of life so yeah that's some sort of anime bullshit right there um, I don't really care about it very much yep and this is the chess armory by the way just thought I'd show them um, I really want to see a shop right about now. Devils cannot use their magic to affect human life. It's supposedly it's one of their rules. And Kree didn't affect our lives like this now. Hold, I can't let you pass without the king's permission. Well, maybe that's a translation thing. Kree is a fine gentleman. This magic saved us a long time ago during a natural disaster. Okay. That would be where the nightly to came from, right? Okay. Uh, there really is no shop here. That's not awesome. Oh. I just um, went too far. Okay, um, yeah. Right, there are no hidden items around here. Kind of obvious, but hey, just what I'd say. Um, is there really no shop here? I'm sure King Pompey will help you. So, you were not able to see Creed. Somewhere in Floor World, there's a tunnel that leads to Creed. Okay, I'll let you go if you win a game against my army. You may go to the chessboard now. Yep, they also have a Crescent Revive, I guess. Um, and... There. Are you ready? Now, start the battle. Do your best. Um, now, you may or may not expect it from the queens there with their 30 hit points and whatnot. But, let's see, is this the king? Yeah, 55 attack, 55 hit points, and 40 defense. Uh, 47 attack, 37 defense. Heal 3 and Blast level 2, that's yeah, fairly normal, I guess, from, for what we've been fighting lately. Uh, but yeah, pawns. 53 attack, 37 defense. They can take quite a, quite a bit of punishment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And we are outnumbered. Oh yeah, there's uh, Raita in, in his new character sprite. It is very possible I should have swapped him out with Chester because he is going to be murdered every which way here. Um, yeah, uh, if you... Oh yeah, and I could pair the power with shit on a stick, man. Um... 
Ew. But anyway, what I mean to say is that uh, judging by the stats alone, with a simple subtraction calculation, um, a pawn can kill Raita with one hit. Yeah, that's... So, tell you what, I'm going to end the episode here, and I'm going to be um, going through this fight a few times to level grind mostly. And I'll try to get everyone up to level 25, um, every unpromoted character, I mean. And uh, then we'll see where we go from there. Um, adios, my fellow Cretans and other humanoids. And take care of your slime mode.